Yo, welcome back fellow Monster Hunters. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and tell your friends and family. Alright guys, so I completed the entire special quest line, or story, story quest or whatever you want to call it, for the four new monsters, unlocked all of them, Radoban, Berioth, Zenogar, and uh, whatever the other one's called. <laughs> We'll get to that later, but yeah, I unlocked the four new monsters and the two new weapons Iron Lance or the Lance I'm in and the dual plates um, So far I have built one dual blade and then a couple no a few uh, Lances Lance is very fun actually surprisingly uh, to fit in a 75 second hunt Oh Ben Barrow is his name <laughs> But yeah completely easy quests you have to complete like 20 plus quests to unlock all four monsters and the two weapons as you go along um, <clears throat> but the armor from Banbaro and Radobon is great for Lance it's perfect I mean I got offensive guard guard defense boost um, really great armor sense if you want to build Lance Lance is very fun, but stick to what you like and what's very fun. They did nerf Light Bow Gun a little bit. It's still very overpowered in my opinion. Bow is much better now that they fixed it and, you know, the Evade and getting the automatic level 2 charge on the bow. It's fantastic. Uh, the monsters, uh, all the new monsters are fantastic, especially when you hit Purple Star. Their moves that change, they're more aggressive, harder to hit. So no there's tons of fun to hit. I mean, great flagship monsters um, to be playing against. Hope you guys are having fun. Definitely complete the Fulminations major update quickly as possible. As you saw in further update, once March ends, all the winter monsters will disappear. And of course, the next major update will arrive by March. 2024 for the developers statement <clears throat> but yeah definitely save your mats if you haven't already or watch my other video if you saved enough mats you could build some pretty good stuff with the new monster weapons as well as armor sets in my opinion Barioth is not that great for armor sets and Zenogra is okay it's mostly the Benbaro and Radoban have great armor sets for the lance mostly on the defensive side excuse my voice this is just how i talk but yeah i digress fantastic monsters very fun major update fun buffs and nerfs overall let me know what you guys like in the new fulma nations updates what you guys like to see in the future updates because personally i would love to see more ways to connect with other players around the world instead of just walking maybe some gifting maybe some sort of hunting besides hunt-a-thons hunt-a-thons sound great fantastic can't wait for those december 15th which is this upcoming friday is when hunt-a-thons do release thanks again guys like and subscribe happy hunting guys